What's up guys? I'm Mark. This is Begabber Backpacking. Thank you for joining me today. I'm out here today to take a look at some more gear. And this is more gear from Superior Gear. They're the guys that came up with Superior Hammock, which is the one that I showed you that had that integrated underquilt, which I think is a really cool option for certain people. And if you want to go check it out, right up above, I'll put the link to that video where you can check it out. Today what we're talking about are two more of their products. And I'm talking about them together because they go really well together. And that is their classic hammock and their universal comforter. So these are two products that you can get from them right now. And I want to go into some of the details of them and show you guys how they work and what's really cool and innovative about them. That's, that's the thing that I've really enjoyed with everything I've tested so far from Superior Gear is that they're thinking a little bit outside of the box. Yeah, there are a couple of other companies that are doing the integrated under quilts, but they did it a little bit differently. And then with these two products here, they're doing these a little bit differently as well. So why don't we take a look at why I think these are cool products and what's different about them. Let's go. All right guys, ever since I started dealing with Danny, who is the owner of Superior Gear, I found him extremely, extremely easy to talk with. Uh, and I've actually helped him a little bit with some of the product design and some of the uh, changes and, and directions moving forward for him. So. What we're talking about today are two pieces. This hammock that I'm sitting in, which is their classic hammock, and this comforter or quilt, which is behind me, which they call their universal comforter. Uh, so let's talk about this, this comforter first, this quilt. So this is an 800 fill power uh, down quilt. This one is 30 degrees. They also come in at 15 and a zero degree. And the weights on those are 36, 30 and 24 ounces respectively for a 0, 15 and 30 degree. Uh, I like the 30 degree and man, this thing for a 30 degree has a ton of loft and because it's 800 fill power, it stands up to the, the humidity and some of the other variables that are out there a little bit better than the higher fill power. But the trade-off is a little bit of weight and a little bit of bulkiness, but that's, that's okay. This thing really uh, is nicely put together cool thing about it is it's got these cam snaps all the way up the seam and so you can adjust how big the foot box actually is so right now I've got it uh, you've got the twin pair at the end one two three and then three additional so like four sets of snaps up is where I have the foot box and it's a nice roomy lofty I mean look at that thing it's it's got so much loft so much down in there uh, it's awesome now, the one thing that I have mentioned is that I like anything really 30, 20, anything below that to be a fully zippered foot box. And one of the reasons is you get drafts in, in ones that are, are, are not fully uh, closed. So a fully sewn foot box. But this one, they've done a, a couple of things to try and mitigate that. Number one, it, it, the bottom seam, while it doesn't completely close, and you could get some gaps there, that's gonna be down against the bottom of your hammock and you're gonna have an under quilt or some other form of insulation below there, so that's not a big deal. But where you normally have issues is the hole. You know, it's cinch corded at the bottom and you've got this hole. And so I've seen a couple of companies do things like put a little snap closure here to, to kind of seal that up. Well, what they've done is something a little bit different. So let me open this thing up and show you guys. So inside, there is this, which they're calling the foot pillow. And it is, I don't know, about eight inches by five inches, maybe six inches, and it's filled with down. And once you cinch this thing up, this foot pillow goes over that hole and closes it up and gives you an insulated foot box. And it just adds a little bit more insulation down there in your foot box, which is where most people end up getting cold anyway. Um, so just like any other quilt out there, you can open this thing completely up undo the cinch cords on here and just drape it over yourself um, you know use it as just a blanket if you're laying in your hammock but it has one other really cool thing but first before I show you that other cool piece let's take a look at this hammock and talk a little bit more about the hammock okay so this hammock is their classic hammock 
and it comes in two sizes 10 foot which is standard and 11 foot which you can opt for and pay just a little bit extra and get now additionally it has these snaps cam snaps along the edge and that is something that you can now opt to get or leave off and it actually will save you a little bit of money if you opt not to get them but there are some cool things about this so if you have a hammock with a lot of extra fabric and it's flapping around one of the cool things on this is you can actually take these snaps snap them together and kind of create a little bit of a cocoon on the ends so you can get into it and it's kind of uh, closed up on the ends which would keep any drafts from coming over your feet or you know you can do it on the head end as well uh, I don't suggest creating a, a full cocoon because then you lose the real ability to get diagonal and, and use a hammock the way that it's intended. Now this hammock is made of a 1.6 Hyper-D, which as you guys know, that is probably my favorite material. And it's just got such a soft, nice feel. The hammock comes standard with a ridge line, and this is a, an adjustable ridge line with a whoopee sling system on it. And so you can adjust it to create that sag exactly how you like. Now you could go with a longer ridge line and have it a little bit more flat, like a uh, a Dutch Wear Gear Chameleon is a little bit flatter, but still presents a, a really, really nice lay. Some of the Dream Hammocks have a deeper sag, and so you could actually tighten this up, which creates a deeper sag. I like it kind of in the middle. So where I've got it right now is about perfect for me. I've played around with it, and that's the cool thing, is you can play around with it and get it exactly how you want it so that you get that lay that works best for you. So other than being able to create sort of a little cocoon, these snaps serve another purpose. And I'm gonna show you exactly what that purpose is right now. Okay, so here is what makes these snaps so cool, is this universal comforter, top quilt, now an under quilt. So it uses those cam snaps, and those cam snaps are spaced just right on both the hammock and the under quilt that they snap together. So if you opt not to use not to get the snaps on there you're going to lose out on this feature if this is something that might interest you but now you have a snapped in not going to move out from under you under quilt so it snaps in really well all the way down through uh, i've had stacy my wife lay in here move around and as long as you are using the so the cinch cords on the end as long as you run them up to your continuous loops it will stay in place and be pulled up against you and I was trying to find gaps and I couldn't find any gaps. Now the only place that I would say uh, you might be able to get a little bit of a gap is right at the ends. So where it comes against the, the hammock, because there isn't a, a draft collar, you could get a little bit of wind coming in there. But if you position your hammock just right, you have a tarp over you and you're laying diagonally, uh, I think it minimizes it quite a bit from what I've seen. But that's the only, only real downside I've seen to it. Snaps work really well, easy, quick installation, and then you just run your, there's little mini beaners on the uh, cinches, and then you just run it over your continuous loops and you're set up. So why don't I lay in here and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, getting into this is no different than getting into any other hammock with an under quilt on it. Only <laughs> real difference here is that uh, you don't have the ability, because it's snapped in and they're all kind of together, I have seen, and I've experienced several times, going to get into my hammock that I've grabbed the underquilt and went to sit in it, and I was actually just sitting in my underquilt and ended up on the ground. Not a big deal, uh, but kind of funny. I'm gonna kick off my shoes, get into here, get myself positioned. And now it's just like any other underquilt. You know, you could reach out, do stuff, but the cool thing is, with it being snapped into the hammock like this, it's not gonna move out from under you. If you put a, a bug sheet or a bug shield on here, which is their, their bug net, it goes around the outside and it actually pro provides a little bit more protection. But you don't need to adjust your, your underquilt. It is snapped in and it's just gonna stay where it is. And it's long enough, you know, it is well up past my head. It's down past my feet. I've got no problem with gaps or any coverage. It just, it works, it's on here, and there's no messing with it. 
I think it's a, a foolproof way of doing things. And uh, you know, even being a 10 foot hammock, I can get really comfortable in this thing. Uh, it's all about how you lay in a hammock. And I'm gonna be doing another video that kind of talks about that really soon. So keep your eyes open for that one. But man, this is a great option. If you guys haven't checked out Superior Hammock or Superior Gear before, go ahead and check them out. They've got a lot of cool things. They've got that, their Superior Hammock Suspension, which is their take on a cinch buckle system, which I find to probably be the easiest adjustable system out there. If you're looking at or you're into cinch buckles, you owe it to yourself to go check out their Superior Suspension because it is, in my opinion, the best cinch buckle system on the market today easiest to adjust just a really cool design um, and I've done a video that shows that I'll put that link up above as well but if you guys are into a, a modular system a way that you could buy pieces that you could use other ways you know if sometimes you're on the ground and sometimes you go to to a hammock you know something like this where you can use it either way would be great 30 degrees in my opinion is a great all-around type type setup but you can also get this in a 15 or a zero. Uh, the hammock is 11 ounces for the setup and it's packs down into a package about that big. Just a little bit bigger than a softball, I'd say. And, uh, you know, just a great system. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Comments, suggestions, feedback, I'm open to all of it. Leave them down in the comments section. If you like this go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't done so before go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there right next to it there'll be a bell icon hit that and you'll get notifications every time I put out a new video I appreciate you guys checking this out today I will see you down the trail